In the pretty countryside of Urbino, Italy, nestled among the verdant hills and ancient vineyards, a young artist was born into a world of beauty and creativity. His name was Federico Barocci, and his story is one of passion, perseverance, and profound artistic genius. Federico Barocci was born in 1535 into a family of artisans who had long been steeped in the traditions of Italian artistry. From a young age, he showed natural talent for drawing and painting, guided by the gentle encouragement of his parents and the rich cultural heritage of his hometown. Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Stories of the Classical Masters. Short stories about the artists who changed the world of painting. I am Uri Shavit. As a boy, Federico spent countless hours exploring the winding streets of Urbino, sketching the landscapes and people that captivated his imagination. His early years were filled with wonder and discovery as he absorbed the sights and sounds of the bustling marketplaces and vibrant festivals that animated the town. By the time he reached his teenage years, Federico's artistic skill had already begun to attract attention. He was apprenticed to a local painter, where he sharpened his skills and learned the techniques of the masters who had come before him. It was during this time that Barocci's distinctive style began to emerge, a delicate blend of naturalism, grace, and spirituality that would come to define his work. As Federico matured into adulthood, his talent continued to flourish, earned him commissions from patrons across Italy and beyond. His reputation as a master painter grew as did his influence on the artistic landscape of the Renaissance. One of the most significant milestones in Barocci's career came in 1565, when he was invited to Rome by Pope Pius IV to work on the decoration of the Vatican. This prestigious commission marked a turning point in Barocci's life catapulting him to the forefront of the Italian art world and cementing his place in history as one of the great masters of the Renaissance. Barocci's painting style was characterized by its luminous colors, ethereal figures, and meticulous attention to detail. His works displayed a sense of tranquility and serenity, inviting viewers into a world of beauty and contemplation. Now let us explore three of Barocci's most celebrated masterpieces, each a testament to his extraordinary talent and vision. First, we have the Annunciation, a breathtaking depiction of the moment when the angel Gabriel announces to the Virgin Mary that she will bear the Son of God. Painted in 1579, this luminous masterpiece captures the awe and wonder of the divine revelation as Mary gazes heavenward with humility and grace. Next, we come to the Madonna of the Cat, a charming portrayal of the Virgin Mary and the infant Jesus, surrounded by playful angels and a curious feline companion. Painted in 1570, this tender scene radiates with warmth and affection, as Mary cradles her child with love and devotion. And finally, we have The Last Supper, a poignant depiction of Christ's final meal with his disciples before his crucifixion. Painted in 1591, this emotive masterpiece captures the dignity and seriousness of the moment as Christ shares bread and wine with his followers, foreshadowing the sacrifice to come. Federico Barocci's life may have ended in 1612, 
but his legacy lives on in the timeless beauty of his paintings, which continue to inspire and captivate audiences around the world. His unique blend of naturalism and spirituality speaks to the universal truth of the human experience, transcending the boundaries of time and space. And so, we bid farewell to Federico Barrocci, a true master of his craft whose work will endure for generations to come. Until next time, may the beauty of art continue to enrich and uplift our lives as we journey through the wondrous tapestry of human creativity. Thank you for joining me on this artistic odyssey. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more fascinating insights into the world of art. Until next time.